In this video, we're going to complete example one. It says the time people spend in a shower is normally distributed. Now, it's quite important when you do these examples that it says normally distributed. If data is not normally distributed, then you can't actually use Z scores. Remembering that normally distributed basically means that you get this bell curve. It then says that the average time is 10 minutes with a standard deviation of three minutes. So on average, people spend about 10 minutes in the shower. So let's write some notes here. Our mean or our average is 10 minutes and our standard deviation is three minutes. It then says, find the Z score for someone who spends 16 minutes in the shower. Now there are two different methods we can use to solve this problem. We can use the formula here, or we can just use a bit of common sense by looking at our bell curve. I think we'll start with the common sense method. We'll look at our bell curve. We know that the mean is 10 minutes. So that needs to go right in the middle of the bell curve, remembering that the mean has a Z score of zero. Now our standard deviation is three minutes. That means as we move to the right, we add on three each time. So we have 13 minutes, 16 minutes, and 19 minutes. Remember, as you move to the right, we've got a Z score of positive one, positive two, then positive three. Now you might have noticed we've actually solved this already because it says find the Z score for someone who spends 16 minutes in the shower. And we can see that here, 16 minutes is represented by a Z score of positive two. So we were able to find that just using a bit of common sense and looking at our bell curve. All right, let's do it now using the formula, which we can see here on the top right. Now, if you find this a little confusing, just look to the left at the dot points. It tells you what each letter or pronumeral means. So Z is our Z score. X is our score. All right. And if you want to know what our score is, it's basically the 16 minutes. It's the amount of time that the person spent in the shower. Then you can see X with a bar above it. When you see X with a bar above it, that's the mean. So our average or mean was 10 minutes. So we'll label our 10 with X with a bar above it. And then finally, we've got S down the bottom. S stands for standard deviation. Our standard deviation was three minutes. All right, so let's substitute these values into our formula. Z equals X minus X bar all over S. And X, which is our score, was 16. So we'll write 16 here at the top. And we're going to subtract our mean or X bar. And the mean was 10 minutes. So we're going to subtract 10. And then finally, we put our standard deviation at the bottom, a standard deviation of 3. Now, at the top of our fraction, 16 minus 10 is 6. And 6 over 3, or 6 divide 3, is 2. To be more specific, it's positive 2. So you can see that in using either method, we got the same Z score here. Anyway, that concludes example 1. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.